we begin today with Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman, brought to life by the real-life Wonder Woman, Linda Carter. Welcome to an extraordinary journey through the life of Linda Carter, an emblem of grace and empowerment whose legacy transcends her iconic role as Wonder Woman. Where did you... How did you... Not now. No one is more deserving of this than you, Your Majesty. From her early days in Arizona, through the glittering lights of pageantry, to the heights of Hollywood and beyond, Carter's life is a testament to resilience, talent, and the pursuit of dreams. Join us as we unravel the story of a woman who became a superhero both on screen and off, championing rights, battling personal demons, and forever altering the landscape of entertainment and popular culture. Early Life and Education Linda Jean Quas born on July 24, 1951, in Phoenix, Arizona. The daughter of Juanita and Colby Carter, she grew up in a diverse family with Mexican, Spaniard Dova, Carter Sheish, French, English, and Irish roots, surrounded by music and art, which fueled her own passions. Her family, especially her mom Juanita, encouraged her love for music from an early age. Singing became Linda's thing, and she joined choirs and sang at local events. But as she grew up, her interest in acting also blossomed, adding more layers to her artistic abilities. Carter made her public television debut on Lou King's talent show at age five. During high school, she performed in a band called Just Us, which included a marimba, a conga drum, an acoustic guitar, and a stand-up bass played by another girl in the group. Linda continued her schooling in Phoenix, where she got even better at singing and acting. Being part of school plays and musicals didn't just show off her skills. It also gave her a confidence boost and taught her how to be more professional. At age 15, Carter began singing in the local pizza parlor to earn extra money. When she was 16, she joined two of her cousins in another band called The Relatives, with actor Gary Berghoff as the drummer. The group opened at the Sahara Hotel and Casino Lounge in Las Vegas, for three months. Because Carter was under 21, she had to enter through the kitchen. These experiences helped shape her dreams, guiding her toward a future where she could share her talents with more people. In 1970, Carter successfully auditioned for and then sang on tour with the Garfin Gathering and band leader Howard Garfin. Their first performance together was at the Holiday Inn Chinatown, a San Francisco hotel so new that it had no completed sidewalk entrance playing mostly to the hotel staff and hotel guests who parked their cars in the underground garage. The Garfin Gathering toured the Nevada Silver Circuit, playing shows in many of the state's casino lounges between Lake Tahoe, Carson City, Reno, and Las Vegas. In 1972, Carter decided to leave the Garfin Gathering to pursue an acting career, returning to Arizona. During her teenage years, Linda became even more determined to succeed. That's when she decided to enter beauty pageants. But it wasn't just about looking pretty. For her, it was a chance to show off what she could do and maybe open some doors in the entertainment world. Entering those pageants was a smart move for Linda. She knew they could give her more visibility and opportunities. So she took on the challenge with the same hard work and dedication she put into her music and acting. It wasn't a detour from her artistic dreams, it was just another way to show the world what she was capable of. Looking back on Linda Carter's early years and her choice to enter beauty pageants, we see a young woman who knew exactly what she wanted. Dr. Rubin came through. Nick's dead, huh? Yeah. Growing up in Phoenix, she had a loving family and a rich cultural background that gave her a solid start. Their support, along with her active role in school performances, really shaped her as an artist. Joining beauty pageants wasn't just a whim for Linda. It was a well-thought-out move toward her goals. She was determined to succeed and took practical steps to get there. This mix of talent, drive, and planning paved the way for Linda Carter to become a respected figure in showbiz, known for her strength and grace rise to fame through pageantry. Yes. Linda, we love you. <laughs> Linda Carter's journey in beauty pageants began at home in Arizona, 
where she started competing in local contests. These early events helped her show off her natural beauty and charm, making her stand out in the pageant world. Her success in these local competitions was just the beginning. It led her to bigger stages and more recognition. One major step was when she decided to enter the Miss World USA contest in 1972. Representing Arizona in the Miss World USA contest, Carter impressed not only with her looks, but also with her confidence, intelligence, and personality. This competition was a big deal for her, opening doors to new opportunities and proving her as a serious contender on a national level. Her biggest achievement in pageantry came when she made it to the top 15 in the Miss World 1972 contest in London. This international competition brought together contestants from all over, each representing their country's beauty and grace. It was a significant moment in Carter's pageant career, showcasing her on a global stage. Making it to the top 15 wasn't just because of her looks. She had something special that made her stand out among all the other contestants. To me, it was fascinating. This achievement at the Miss World contest was a major moment for Carter. It put her on the map internationally and proved she could shine on one of the world's biggest beauty pageant stages. Her success in beauty pageants led to modeling opportunities. Her stunning looks and classy demeanor caught the eye of photographers and fashion people, landing her modeling jobs that showed off her versatility. Modeling helped Carter get even better in front of the camera. It gave her exposure and experience in the fashion world, expanding her skills beyond pageants to print and fashion shows. These early experiences in the spotlight set the stage for Carter's move into acting. They gave her a chance to show off her talent to more people, eventually leading to her breakthrough role as Wonder Woman. Transition to acting. Early roles. And uh, I was studying and, and, and uh, working hard to um, make it in Hollywood. In the early 1970s, Linda Carter, crowned Miss World USA, ventured to New York City with dreams beyond pageantry. Her ambition? To pursue acting, a passion that stretched far beyond her triumphs in beauty contests. Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? Why is that? Yet... The shift from pageants to acting proved anything but simple. New York, teeming with opportunities, is also brimming with competition. Carter faced her share of trials as she maneuvered through the complexities of the acting world. To break into the industry, mere talent and beauty weren't enough. It demanded perseverance, resilience, and adaptability. Despite setbacks, Carter pressed on. Her days in New York were filled with auditions, rejections, and the relentless pursuit of acting gigs. These experiences, though arduous, shaped her tenacity and dedication. During this pivotal time, Carter sought to refine her craft through formal training. She enrolled in acting classes, absorbing wisdom from mentors and seasoned actors and sharpening her skills. This commitment to growth laid the foundation for her future triumphs. Carter's persistence soon bore fruit with early acting roles on television, marking the onset of her on-screen journey. In her early TV appearances, Linda Carter starred in Nakia, a cop show, and Starsky and & Hutch, an action series. Though small, these roles were big for her. They gave her hands-on experience and taught her about TV production, which fueled her love for acting even more. These early gigs were important for a few reasons. First, they showed that Carter was making it in acting, proving she wasn't just dreaming. Second, they let her show off her acting skills, proving she could play different roles with depth. Lastly, these jobs helped Carter make connections in the industry. These connections would later help her land even bigger roles. Breakthrough role as Wonder Woman. I think that I was destined to play Wonder Woman. Linda Carter's journey to becoming Wonder Woman seemed destined. Before she wore the iconic tiara and bracelets, Carter wasn't well known in acting, focusing mainly on pageantry and music. The hunt for the perfect Wonder Woman, from 1975 to 1979, was thorough. Producers sought someone who could embody the Amazonian princess's strength and grace. Carter's audition stood out. She brought not just beauty, but depth and understanding to the hero's character. 
Her selection was crucial, not just for her career, but for how female superheroes were portrayed. Carter's Wonder Woman was groundbreaking. She brought humanity, intelligence, and kindness to the character, qualities often overlooked in superhero stories. Carter's Wonder Woman wasn't just tough. She was also a peacemaker, embodying ideals of justice and harmony. Audiences and critics loved this nuanced portrayal, showing a superhero who could be nurturing and powerful. Behind the scenes of Wonder Woman, Carter faced challenges. From tough stunts to intricate costumes, her commitment was clear. She trained hard to do her own stunts, ensuring Wonder Woman's physicality matched her moral strength. The camaraderie among cast members played a crucial role, with Carter's leadership and warmth off-screen creating a supportive and collaborative atmosphere. Memorable scenes like Wonder Woman deflecting bullets with her bracelets or transforming with a spin became iconic symbols of the show's innovative approach, blending comic book fantasy with television reality. Wonder Woman left a lasting mark on television and culture. Debuting in the 1970s, a time when female-led action shows were rare, it shattered stereotypes and paved the way for future female superheroes. Its popularity stemmed not only from its thrilling storyline, but also from its powerful message of equality and justice resonating deeply during a period of social change. Prior to Wonder Woman, female characters in the superhero genre were often relegated to supporting roles or romantic interests. Carter's portrayal broke this mold, presenting a lead female superhero defined not by her relationships with men, but by her values and abilities. Acting career post-Wonder Woman. After Wonder Woman ended in 1979, Linda Carter aimed to broaden her acting roles. She smoothly transitioned into various TV specials, series, and movies, showing her talent in different roles. One notable project after Wonder Woman was the biopic The Last Song in 1980, where she portrayed a troubled singer. This role let Carter combine her acting and singing skills, giving viewers a glimpse of her diverse abilities. During the 1980s and 1990s, Carter took on diverse roles in TV movies, distinct from her superhero image. In Still Watch, she played a journalist tangled in haunted house mysteries, displaying her knack for suspense. Another significant role was in Daddy, a drama where she depicted a woman navigating family and love issues, highlighting her versatility in emotional storytelling. Each project Carter picked during this time appeared to be a deliberate effort to expand her repertoire and tackle challenging characters. Her TV specials, particularly Linda Carter's special and Encore Encore, marked important moments in her career after Wonder Woman. These Emmy-nominated shows were variety programs that allowed Carter to reconnect with her musical and dancing roots, connecting with her audience in a more intimate way. Through these specials, Carter not only entertained, but also showed her versatility as a performer. She could sing, dance, and charm the audience with her charismatic presence. Carter's venture into voice acting opened a new chapter in her career, reaching a new generation of fans through a growing medium. Her roles in the Elder Scrolls series and Fallout 4 were noteworthy, not only because of the game's popularity, but also because they showcased her ability to bring characters to life using only her voice. These roles highlighted Carter's adaptability and her willingness to embrace different storytelling forms. Throughout her post-Wonder Woman career, Linda Carter consistently pursued roles that challenged and fulfilled her artistic aspirations. From captivating TV specials displaying her diverse talents to significant roles in TV movies and series demonstrating her depth as an actress to innovative voice acting gigs in popular video games, Carter proved time and again that her skills went beyond just the superhero genre. Music career. Linda Carter's music career began to shape up in the late 1970s, during and after her rise to fame as a television superhero. But her love for music wasn't new. Even before wearing the Wonder Woman tiara, Carter had a deep connection with music, growing up in a family that cherished and encouraged her musical talents. This early passion set the stage for her journey into recording and performing. Her debut album, Portrait, released in 1978, marked her entry into the recording industry. It allowed Carter to display her vocal abilities beyond her TV persona, offering a blend of pop and country tunes that matched her artistic style. 
Portrait was a significant step for Carter, showing her desire to be known as an artist who could do more than just act. After Portrait, Carter kept exploring her musical dreams through live performances, often incorporating music into her TV specials. These specials, like Linda Carter's special in the, in the 1980s and Encore Encore in 1981, not only showcased her singing talent, but also her ability to charm audiences with her presence and performance. Through these TV appearances, Carter reached a wider audience, confirming her status as a versatile performer in the entertainment world. Carter's music career also saw her become a singer-songwriter. Her role in crafting songs for her albums and performances showed her deep connection with music, not just as a performer, but as an artist fully involved in the creative process. This aspect of her career highlighted her dedication to being authentic in her musical expression. Over the years, Carter has continued to perform live, revealing her lasting love for music. Her shows are known for their closeness and warmth, connecting with audiences through personal tales, classic covers, and original songs. Carter's concerts often blend various genres, from classic rock to blues and country, showing her diverse musical taste and skill as a performer. One of the highlights of Carter's music journey was her album, At Last, released in 2009, almost three decades after her debut. At Last included classic standards, jazz, and blues songs, all reimagined with Carter's unique vocal style. This album was followed by Crazy Little Things in 2011, further demonstrating her versatility and ability to add her personal touch to classic tunes. Linda's Life from the Spotlight Linda's first marriage to Ron Samuels in 1977 occurred at the peak of her career as Wonder Woman. Lasting until 1982, their relationship faced the challenges of public scrutiny and pressure. The end of this marriage marked a turning point for Carter, igniting a period of introspection and growth. In 1984, she found love again, marrying attorney Robert A. Altman. Their union, lasting over three decades until Altman's passing in 2021, was a testament to their profound connection and shared values. Together, they embraced the journey of parenthood, welcoming two children, James and Jessica. Navigating the highs and lows of raising a family, Linda approached each moment with the same dedication and passion she brought to her career. Balancing the demands of motherhood with her professional pursuits, Carter often emphasized the significance of family in her life, highlighting the deep value she placed on personal relationships. Carter faced a tough battle with alcoholism in the late 90s, a significant chapter in her life. She showed both her vulnerability and strength during this time. Confronting her addiction, Carter bravely sought treatment, setting herself on the path to recovery and sobriety. Her journey was not just a personal victory, but also a source of inspiration for others facing similar struggles. By openly sharing her experiences with alcoholism, Carter became a symbol of hope for those in similar situations. Her story proves that, with determination and seeking help, recovery is achievable. Throughout her life, Carter has aimed to balance her professional successes with her personal responsibilities. Her commitment to prioritizing family while navigating the challenges of her career and health speaks volumes about her character. Advocacy and Activism Linda Carter has always spoken up for women's rights, using her fame to help women worldwide. She believes that every woman has the strength to reach her goals and she talks about this in interviews and public events. But Linda's not just about talking, she takes action too. She supports laws and projects that help women and tackle problems like violence and unfair treatment. Her dedication shows the values of Wonder Woman, the character she's famous for playing. Besides standing up for women, Linda also supports the LGBTQ community. She knows how important it is for everyone to be accepted and treated equally, no matter who they love or how they identify. She joins Pride events and uses her social media to celebrate LGBTQ rights. Linda wants a world where everyone can be themselves without fear. Carter cares deeply about helping others, and one cause that's especially important to her is Alzheimer's disease. She's seen how it affects families, including her own, and she's determined to raise awareness and support for finding a cure. She speaks out about the need for more research and assistance for people dealing with Alzheimer's and other illnesses. She joins events to raise money, 
and teams up with groups like the Alzheimer's Association to help patients and their loved ones. Her goal is to shed light on the disease and get more people involved in finding a solution. But Linda doesn't stop there. She supports all sorts of charities, from health projects to programs that help those in need. She knows she has a voice that can make a difference, so she uses it to bring about positive changes, whether it's by giving money, showing up at events, or speaking out for causes that matter. Fashion Iconography Linda Carter's portrayal of Wonder Woman in the 1970s brought to life a costume that would become iconic. The red, white, and blue ensemble, complete with a golden lasso, not only defined superhero fashion, but also became a symbol of strength, empowerment, and femininity. Designed by Don Feld, a renowned Hollywood costume designer, the costume cleverly balanced the character's Amazonian warrior heritage with a sense of contemporary style that appealed to audiences worldwide. Its impact went beyond the screen, inspiring Halloween costumes, fashion editorials, and collections seeking to capture its timeless appeal. But it wasn't just Wonder Woman's costume that left a mark. Linda Carter's personal style has also had a significant impact on fashion. Her elegance and grace, both on and off the screen, have made her a style icon for generations. Carter's fashion sense, blending classic glamour with modern sophistication, has influenced not only how women want to dress, but also how they perceive style as a means of empowerment and self-expression. Her ability to effortlessly blend high fashion with everyday wear has established her as a source of inspiration for designers and a constant presence in fashion magazines. Carter's collaborations with fashion designers have further solidified her impact on the industry. Throughout her career, she has partnered with notable designers for both her public appearances and personal wardrobe. These collaborations often highlight Carter's unique sense of style, blending her personal taste with the designer's vision to create memorable fashion moments. Whether gracing the red carpet or attending public events, Carter's fashion choices consistently make headlines, establishing her as a trendsetter and fashion influencer. Her influence extends beyond immediate collaborations, with her penchant for bold choices, inspiring trends that prioritize individuality and strength. Moreover, Carter's ability to adapt and evolve her style over the years, while maintaining an underlying sense of elegance, has positioned her as a role model for women seeking to express themselves through fashion at any age. Accolades and Acknowledgements While specific awards for Linda Carter's role in the Wonder Woman series are elusive, her performance has been celebrated by fans and critics alike, solidifying her place in the annals of television history. Carter's impact on entertainment was officially recognized by DC Comics in 1985, as she was named one of the honorees in the company's 50th anniversary publication, 50 Who Made DC Great, acknowledging her significant contribution to the Wonder Woman series and the DC Universe. Carter's off-screen endeavors in advocacy for women's rights Support for the LGBTQ plus community and philanthropy have been equally commendable. Her dedication to these causes has been recognized in various ways, though specific awards for her advocacy and philanthropy work are more nuanced, coming through acknowledgments and honors that highlight her role as a public figure committed to making a difference. Linda Carter has received several Lifetime Achievement Awards and special tributes that underscore her lasting impact on film, television, and beyond. In 2014, she was honored with a Golden Palm Star on the Palm Springs, California, Walk of Stars, marking her as the 369th honoree for her illustrious career. In 2016, Carter's career and advocacy work were further celebrated with a Lifetime Achievement Award at the Gracie Awards. Presented by the Alliance for Women in Media Foundation since 1975, the Gracie Awards honor exemplary programming created by, for, and about women. Perhaps one of the most visible honors came in 2018 when the Hollywood Chamber of Commerce awarded Carter the 2,632nd star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Located at 6562 Hollywood Boulevard in the television section, this star, unveiled by HCC President and CEO Laren Gubler with assistance from director Patty Jenkins and former CBS Chairman Leslie Moonves, commemorates Carter's significant contributions to television and her status as a cultural icon. 
Further recognizing her heritage and contributions to the arts, the National Museum of Mexican Art in Chicago honored Carter with the Sor Juana Legacy Award on September 17, 2022. This award acknowledges women of Mexican descent for their lifetime achievements. On December 13, 2022, Carter was inducted into the California Hall of Fame, a tribute that recognizes individuals who embody California's innovative spirit and have made their mark on history. Enduring Legacy Carter's portrayal of Wonder Woman touched audiences deeply, not only because of her physical strength, but also due to the character's strong moral compass and dedication to justice. This mix of power and compassion resonated with many, especially women and girls, who found in Wonder Woman a reflection of their own potential. Wonder Woman, as played by Carter, became a powerful symbol of empowerment, reminding everyone that being feminine doesn't mean being weak, and that strength comes in many forms. Linda Carter's portrayal of Wonder Woman continues to inspire people across generations, showing that her impact goes beyond just the character she portrayed. Carter herself embodies the same heroic qualities that Wonder Woman stands for. Off-screen, Carter's advocacy for women's rights and her candidness about her personal struggles and victories have solidified her position as a role model. She utilizes her platform to champion gender equality and support causes that uplift women, strengthening her legacy as an advocate for empowerment. Testimonials from fans and fellow actors underscore Carter's influence, whether through social media tributes celebrating her groundbreaking TV role or interviews with current actresses who credit Carter as an inspiration, praise for her abounds. Gal Gadot, the actress portraying Wonder Woman in recent films, has publicly recognized Carter's impact, highlighting how her portrayal sets a high standard for female heroes. Fans worldwide share tales of how Carter's Wonder Woman motivated them to pursue their aspirations, confront challenges with bravery, and stand up for justice in their communities. Carter's enduring legacy isn't just nostalgia for a beloved TV series, it's rooted in the ongoing relevance of her character's principles. In a time where discussions on gender representation and equality are prominent, Carter's Wonder Woman remains a beacon for conversations on how media shapes perceptions and drives change. Her contributions, both on and off screen, fuel discussions on the significance of strong, diverse female characters in entertainment. Beyond her iconic role, Carter's music career and advocacy work enrich her legacy. Her journey from beauty pageants to television fame illustrates a versatile talent dedicated to using her voice for good. Whether through music, support for charitable causes, or advocacy for LGBTQ rights, Carter continues to inspire others, showing the various ways to make a positive impact. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.